Have you ever heard of Muay Thai? It's a style of kickboxing, and one spot here in the Cape Fear is not letting COVID get in the way of lessons. Sports director Tanner Barras got a closer look at how classes are still happening. Take a look. One, two. Put your arm. Hook cross. Kelvin Bass is a coach at Hammer Muay Thai Kickboxing in Wilmington. When COVID-19 shut down the gym, they had to find a new way to teach. That's when they decided it was time to take class outdoors. It's been real difficult, but you know, um, as a martial artist and stuff, we can make it happen anywhere. You know, as you see, we're doing it in front of our, our complex. Yeah, you heard that right. Bass is currently teaching kids kickboxing from the parking lot in front of his home. It may not be ideal, but the parents are glad there was something to give their kids a sense of normalcy. Declan was in, you know, gymnastics and dance and he was going to school. He was supposed to enter kindergarten and everything's just put on hold. This is the one thing that's given him some sense of stability, and we're just so grateful that Kelvin's been a help. And the kids, well, they aren't quite sure how they feel about working out in the brittle heat, yet they still love it. I don't know. I don't really know, but it's really fun. With schools out and gyms closed, Bass says it was important to keep the connection with the kids because his program focuses on much more than just kickboxing. My program, um, manners, discipline, respect, schoolwork is very important. You know, uh, being an athlete, you still have to be um, smart and do schoolwork as well. And even with the change of pace, the parents say they wouldn't have it any other way. It's worth sweating uh, as long as we, are, like I said, are giving our kids a, a sense of normalcy. In Wilmington, Tanner Barth, WWAY News. Bass says they are anxious to get back in the gym, but understand the current health concerns. Today, Governor Roy Cooper announcing that gyms will remain closed for the foreseeable future.